Are you ready for Camp NaNoWriMo? Hey guys, Tabby Slick here, and on Monday begins the first day of Camp NaNoWriMo for July, and I have a really special project um, coming on up. Um, I can't say the name, it's super hush hush, uh, but it is a pretty hefty challenge for me. Now, there are plenty of people out there that they set these really lengthy word count goals and they're able to knock them out very quickly. Um, I am not one of those people. I am a plotter and until I have my plan set out beforehand, um, it can take a really long time. So I've come up with a couple of tips um, that I'm going to add to my survival toolbox for this month. One of them being that when I accomplish my word count goal, I will be opening a progress gift. So in July, I will have five progress gifts to open that I'm super excited about. And so that is a bit of positive reinforcement for me getting my word count goal. Um, in. And um, another reason why I wanted to be sure that I had extra little reasons to get them done is because I also have a little vacation in between um, the, the weeks of July. And so it is going to be tough. I'm not going to have the normal amount of days. I'm going to have 24 days to get 60,000 words down. And for me, that is extremely, extremely cumbersome. Uh, so, like I said before, the first tool that I am going to have in my toolbox is I'm going to open progress gifts. So when I reach the first benchmark, which will be next weekend, hopefully, fingers crossed, I will be opening gift number one. Of course I know what it is, but you'll get to find out when I do later. I already know. Never mind. Um, and then for the second week, I have progress gift number two. Fabulous, huh? Right? And three, four, all the way up to the final week. And I'm sure you can't guess what this is, but I love the wrap. Isn't that fabulous? I'm gonna do it again, just for fun. Uh, yeah, so these are my five progress gifts. It is going to be great um, if I get to my benchmarks and accomplish them. And these are little positive, um, positive gifts to reinforce something that I really want. I really need to finish this. Now, to give you some history of this project, I have just completed part one of the project, which was supposed to be 55,000 words. It wound up being um, 62,000 words. Now, I did have a little bit longer to complete that. Um, this next project, the one that I'm going to be doing for Camp NaNoWriMo, is going to be my goal, roughly 60,000 words. I'm guessing it's going to wind up being um, a little bit longer afterwards, but within the short period of 24 days, getting 60,000 words in is going to be tough. Um, and then when I complete that book, I am going to go straight into a third book. And so hopefully I will have all of these books finished by um, this fall. So fingers crossed. And the second tip that I am going to, or second tool rather, that I'm going to add to my Camp NaNoWriMo toolbox is I am going to list three reasons 
why I am going to accomplish my word count goal for that day. So I have broken down my roughly 60,000 words um, that I need to complete in 24 days down into daily increments. Okay, now each day I am going to need to push through all of the obstacles, all the things that come in during the day, all the other work that I have to do in and in order to achieve my goal, I'm going to need to remember the reason and I'm going to write down these goals, these three reasons why today I am going to accomplish this goal. I'm going to have that in my mind and my thoughts throughout the day and I'm going to write it on a sticky note and place it on my monitor. And I'm going to do that every single day. Now, of course, that's going to fill this whole thing up, but that's the goal, all right? And you'll see that throughout this month. Um, the last and final tool that I am going to add to my tool belt is food. Now, a lot of times I, when running a project, I forget about food and then come lunch time or dinner time, uh, that'll take a couple hours because I'll realize I forgot about food. So I'll go up to the fridge and realize that I don't have anything to eat and then I'll go to the store. I know first world problem, right? Um, thankfully, but I'll go to the store and that will take out time. Now I need to be very productive with the free time that I have in order to write. And for me to be able to do this, I'm going to need to strategize. And food is important um, for everything, right? So I am going to plan out my lunches for the week and dinners for the week. And I'm going to do that on one afternoon that I have a light writing day. And so it will help me accomplish my goal because I won't have to take out these extra time uh, times to do those things. I will already have, I won't have to think about what's going to be for dinner, what's going to be for lunch. It will already be planned out and it'll either be in a crock pot or it'll be in a salad. Um, either way, I'm going to have this covered. Uh, and those are my three tools that I'm going to have in my toolbox. If you have any tips um, that have helped you conquer and slay your word count goal for Camp NaNoWriMo or even NaNoWriMo, which I hope maybe this NaNoWriMo I'll participate. We'll see. I'm a little nervous about it. Um, but I like these camps. They're a little flexible. Um, it's during the summer. So you have the sun, it's nice, like, um, and it's a little bit more low key. We'll see. Uh, we'll see about November. Um, but either way, if you have any tips that will help you, that help you uh, accomplish your writing goals, please leave them in the comments below. And if you'd like to follow on my journey through Camp NaNoWriMo, please like and share and subscribe to the video. Um, thank you for stopping by and we'll see you around. Bye.